Hi friends, in this class, let us discuss some basics of population dynamics. I am your teacher Vignesh, let's get into the topic. What is population dynamics? Dynamics means the change or the variation. So, if we are studying the change in the density of insect pests both in time and space and understanding the process which causes the change is called population dynamics. In the simple words, we can say that what are the reasons that is causing the variation in the insect pest population is the population dynamics. The existence and abundance of the population in any particular area is determined by the physical and biotic influences of the environment as well as the genetic makeup of the species. So, this leads to fluctuation in numbers within certain lower and upper limits. Before getting into the topic, let us understand some of the attributes of a population. There are six major attributes of a population. Let us see what are all those? First one is density. It is the number of individual per unit area or the space occupied. In other words, we can say the insect per meter square will denote the insect population density in the square meter area. The next attribute is the natality or birth rate. About the birth rate, we have already discussed in the previous class which means the number of individuals produced per unit time and we also discussed about the various factors that is determining the birth rate such as the fecundity, fertility and the sex ratio. The fecundity refers to the number of eggs that is laid by the females and fertility means the actual production of offsprings from the eggs that is laid and the sex ratio means the ratio between the males and females of the emerged young ones. At the core, rate at which new individuals are added to the population by reproduction will be called the natality or birth rate. We can see that the natality is about the time and the density is about the space that is occupied. We already discussed about the mortality or the death rate in the previous class which means to the number of individuals dying in the given population in the given period of time. It is governed by both the biotic and abiotic factors. There are various causes for the mortality that is it may be due to the aging or the low vitality or the nutrient and the food shortage in a particular area or it may be caused due to the natural enemies present in the particular locality and the lack of shelter are the place to live and the physiochemical conditions in the particular environment. The next important attribute of the population is the population dispersal which means the movement of individuals into or out of the population. The population dispersal happens by three means that is immigration or the inward movement. As we say, the people who are all working from the different areas of the countries as the immigrants, which means the inward moved population from the other places and the emigration, which means the outward movement from the place to the another. Like if the people from our area is working in other places, we can call them the emigrants. Third one is the migration, which means the mass movement of the entire population. So, in the recent days, you could have heard about the locust migration, which is the mass movement of the entire population. In migration also, there are different kinds which we will discuss about in the coming classes. The fifth attribute of the population is the dispersion, which means the way in which individuals are distributed in the space. It is different from the population dispersal as the dispersal means the individuals immigrated or emigrated out of the population or inside the population. 
whereas the dispersion means the arrangement or the distribution of the individuals in a particular area. There are three ways in which the population can be distributed in a particular area which means the random distribution in which there will be the minimal interaction or the influence between the species. We can see the population here is randomly distributed and there is no interaction or the minimal interaction or the influence of the external. In case of the uniform distribution which may be due to the repulsion between the population inside, the third kind of dispersion is the clumped distribution. We can say it is due to the attraction which is due to the attraction behavior of the individuals of the population which may be due to the aggregation pheromones that is secreted to migrate from one place to another or it may be due to the reproduction pheromone which is secreted for multiplication purpose. As the locust in the normal condition will be randomly distributed but when they are clumped which means they are going to migrate from one place to another or it denotes the migratory population is ready. Distribution is most common one in nature as it is regarded with the safety in the numbers and social interaction and matting and caring for the young happens only through this distribution but in case of uniform distribution it is not that common and used because of the scarcity of resources such as the food and in case of the random distribution it is quite rare it is hard to determine between truly random or largely clumpy the sixth attribute of the population is the age distribution which means the population of individuals of the different ages in the group if we take it for example, the insects first in start population or the egg population or the final in start population or the adults population will denote the age distribution of the particular species in the particular area. Population of uh, any species grows in two contrasting ways that is J-shaped growth form and the S-shaped or sigmoid growth form. In the J-shaped growth form, the population density increases in exponential growth rate such as from 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16 like that. The doubling rate, the reproduction will be more in this growth curve as it is called as the R strategist. This population will increase up to the certain level until it encounters any limitation such as the exhausted food source or the natural enemies in a particular area and then the growth comes to a more or less abrupt halt or the density declines rapidly. The population with this kind of growth form are unstable as their reproductive rate is high and the survival rate is less they are called as R strategist as we have seen it in the previous class itself. Factors other than the density regulates the population. As the population increases in exponential growth rate initially and later dropping down rapidly, the form of the growth will be in the J shape. That's why it is called as the J shaped growth form. The next case that is S shaped growth form will be more like the K strategist as the reproduction rate will be less in the initial stages but the growth will be there reaching the S shaped curve. In the S shaped growth pattern, the rate of increase of density increases as the population increases up to the level of K that is the carrying capacity and later the population is decreased. So what is the carrying capacity? The carrying capacity of an environment is the maximum population size of a biological species that can be sustained in that specific environment given the food, habitat, water and the other resources available. We can say that in other words the maximum capacity of the environment to provide after which they will run out of the resources to support them anymore. So, after reaching the environment level or the carrying capacity K, the population tend to decreases. 
So, this pattern has more stability since the population regulates itself after reaching the K level. But in case of the J-shaped growth form, we can clearly see that there is no such stability. Example of the S-shaped growth form or the K strategist are the Hymenopterans. And in case of the aphids, they are J-shaped growth form or the R strategist as we have discussed in the previous class. And the example of areas with Allah that we have discussed about in the previous class are also the R strategies. Okay, let us move on to the question part. Question number 1. Rate at which new individuals are added to the population is natality, mortality, death rate or none of the above. Immigration is outward movement, mass movement, inward movement or all of the above. Mass movement of the entire population is immigration, emigration, migration or none. Difference between population dispersion and dispersal. Question number 5. Uniform distribution is due to attraction, repulsion, minimal interaction or all of the above. Minimal interaction causes Uniform distribution, normal distribution, random distribution, or all of the above. Our strategist follows J curve, S curve, both of them or none of them. Hymenopterans follows J curve, S curve, both or none. That's all about today's class.